My name is upside down. No, my name is Adina Deluf. <laughs> Uh, I use she, her pronouns, and I am the director of Lifespan Religious Exploration. And today we are going to hear a story about where the song we just did came from. But I'm going to need your help. So if you are sitting here-ish, um, you are going to be Sam. You are going to be Sam, and I'll explain what that means later. And if you are sitting kind of here and here you will work together and you are going to be sam's dad sam's dad and then if i haven't given you a job yet then you are going to be sam's grandmother okay and you can self-identify for the moment but i think we kind of have it figured out so raise your hand if you're sam you were listening good job raise your hand if you're sam's dad and raise your hand if you're Sam's grandmother. I think we are ready. So here we go. Once upon a time, there was a kid named Sam. And Sam was very bright. And they were good at math and drawing and playing kickball. But Sam was best at asking questions. How small are the people in the radio? If combs have teeth, then why do we not call them a teeth brush? Do dogs have a favorite kind of music? Is the S or the C silent in the word scent? Do superheroes have a special laundromat where they wash their superhero clothes so no one can see them? Would dinosaurs have liked pizza? Who closes the bus door when the bus driver gets off? Why does your nose run but your feet smell? And of course, Got you, okay. <laughs> and I know we have some kids in the audience uh, who may be like that, uh, but their favorite question was always, why? And everyone got used to Sam and their questions. And sometimes someone would know the answer and they would tell Sam. And other times someone would help Sam look it up. And then other times people would simply and honestly just have to answer, I don't know. So one day, Sam and their dad were sitting in the kitchen and Sam was coloring, which was something they were good at. And Sam's dad was washing the dishes. And Sam looked up from their picture and said, Dad, where do we come from? And Sam's dad paused for a moment and he thought he had more time. And he said, well, Sam, when two people, no, dad, that's not what I meant. Sam's dad sighed in relief. I mean, where do we come? from like what are we where are we going okay sam's out there here's where you come in we're going to sing the part from earlier today can we get a little like yeah like a, yeah are we ready where do we come from what are we where are we going perfect again no, okay, you're ready. So Sam's dad thought for a minute, minute, moment. I said two words at the same time. Sam's dad thought for a moment. He had asked these questions himself, but he had never really thought he would have to answer them for someone else. And what if he didn't have the right answer? I mean, he had ideas, but could anyone ever really know? So finally, da Sam's dad settled on answering, I don't know, go ask your grandma. But Sam's questions were in their dad's head now. Where do we come from, he asked himself. Okay, Sam's dad's out there. Here's where you come in. We're gonna sing. Okay, you ready? <laughs> we're gonna sing, where do we come from? Okay. Where do we come from? Where do we come from? I think you're ready. So Sam put their coloring stuff away and went to ask grandma their questions. And Sam's grandma was the smartest person that Sam had ever known. She had great stories about things she had done in her life. And she was always patient and helped Sam with their questions. So when Sam got upstairs and they found their grandma, they asked, Grandma, where do we come from? What are we? Where are we going? And Sam's grandma thought for a minute. 
And then she finally said, mystery. And Sam looked puzzled. What? Mystery, Sam's grandma said again. And Sam stared blankly. I don't get it. Grandma tried one more time. Life is a riddle and a mystery. Okay, Sam's grandmas, I think we're ready. Can we get our mm, mystery, mystery. Life is a riddle and a mystery. Again, mystery, mystery. Life is a riddle and a mystery. Y'all are good. Okay, so Sam looked at their grandma and asked, but what? does that mean and sam's grandma replied i asked these same questions when i was a kid and i'm still asking many of them now finding the answers to life's questions is a lifelong journey and if you're lucky enough to find an answer that works for you you often still find more questions so you just keep looking and trying and you keep asking and sam who was good at asking questions was okay with that answer so sam went back to coloring while they did their they started singing but at the same time their dad was finishing the dishes and kept singing and then at the same time still sam's grandma was singing and all together it sounded something like this i think we can do it can we just get us starting okay here we go where do we come from what are we where are we going? Where do we come from? Mystery, mystery. Life is a riddle and a mystery. Mystery, mystery. Life is a riddle and a mystery. Where do time where do we come from what are we where are we going and that is the story about where the song came from but it's not the true story <laughs> and if you want to know that one you're gonna have to go out and ask some questions thank you